You know, I feel like it's important for us women to stay, to stay true to who we are. I shouldn't have to let go of my, you know, sexual side because I'm a mother, because now I'm a grandmother. I think, you know, we only live once and I want to live a very full life. It was really hard for casting directors to take me seriously. Cause at the time it wasn't like a lot of models were turned to actors. So it was kind of like, can she walk and talk at the same time? <laughs> and so I had to prove myself. When I heard that they were casting for a show about models, I thought, great. A couple of weeks go by and I heard nothing. And I said to my agent at the time, you know, whatever happened, and he said, they're not casting a black character. And I was like, what? So the next day I actually found out where his office was in LA. So I left, um, I left a package for him. And four days later, I got a call from the casting director and I read for her and then read for Aaron Spelling. First words he said to me, ma'am, can I wash your windows for some spare change? <laughs> I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring, but I know with you, it'll be filled with love and happiness. The Jamie Foxx show was definitely one of the best. We had so much fun that it was like, we're getting paid to do this. And so going from Jamie Foxx to a critically acclaimed show like NYPD Blue really sort of validated my talent. Hi, I'm Garcelle Beauvais, the newest housewife of Beverly Hills. I've always been a fan of the franchise. It just felt like a good time in my life. And I've been friends with, you know, Denise Richards, Lisa Brenner for a long time. I didn't want to go in with anybody's conception of what a black woman should be in Beverly Hills. My main concern it was showing up as me, not as what people expected me to be, but just show up as me. And that's exactly what I did. How are we going to date once they lift the quarantine? How you tongue kiss with a mask on is what I want to know, because I need a, I want a tongue in my throat. Once a month, I would have girlfriends at my house and we would sit around, we'd gossip, we'd drink, we'd talk and sex would always come up, of course. So after every time we got together, somebody would say, this is a show, why aren't you doing this? So cut to going to bed with Garcelle. We will talk about anything, relationships, sex, how are we going to date in the, you know, in this quarantine time or coronavirus time? We're all trying to figure it out. I don't know why we don't have more women in late night. You know what I mean? There's definitely an audience for it. So what I'm hoping is my podcast will turn into a show.